On a day when people across the world offer prayers to Surya, the sun god, to celebrate Chhat Puja, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the accelerated adoption of solar power is changing the lives of the poor and the middle class of India for the better. At a time when the climate change response is critical, Prime Minister Modi's reiteration of solar energy becoming a part of life of the people demonstrates mainstreaming of the renewable sources of energy, which India clearly being an exemplar. In the 94th episode of his monthly Man Ki Baat broadcast over the All India Radio Network, Prime Minister Modi dwelt on the deep connections of India with nature as illustrated in the worship of the sun god, which is a way for the people to express their gratitude to the source of energy in human life. Solar energy is a subject today in which the whole world is looking at its future and for India the sun god has not only been worshiped for centuries but also been the focus of our way of life said the prime minister Mr Modi stressed that India is combining its traditional experiences with modern science this is why today we have become one of the largest countries to generate electricity from solar energy How solar energy is changing the lives of the poor and middle class of our country is also a subject of study underlined Prime Minister Modi. In line with the conversational format of the broadcast, the Prime Minister interacted with a number of villagers who shared the good experience of not only saving on the expenses on the electricity consumption but also earning money after installing the solar panels. The central scheme PM Kusum Yojana is seen making visible impacts in the life of the people in the rural areas. Farmers from Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan told the Prime Minister that after they got solar pumps set, they do not have to spend anything on electricity for their farms. The scheme, by promoting the adoption of solar energy, is clearly empowering the farmers by significantly cutting down their input costs. Additionally, Mr Modi told the listeners that Modera in Gujarat has become India's first solar village. Most of the houses in Modera Surya Gram have started generating electricity from solar power. Now, in many houses, there is no electricity bill at the end of the month. Instead, a check from the electricity income is being generated, said the Prime Minister, adding, "Now people are writing letters to me stating that their village should also be converted into Surya Gram." He stated that the construction of Surya Grams will become a big mass movement soon. India has taken big strides in space sciences and the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO is now truly a global leader in the commercial launch of satellites. Prime Minister Modi deservingly paid rich accolades to the ISRO for placing 36 satellites in space simultaneously and with this launching from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Kutch to Kohima in the whole country digital connectivity will be further strengthened. Mr Modi illustrated the significance significance of the momentous space achievement of the country indeed india is now being preferred for the launch of commercial satellites ahead of russia france and china the prime minister reminded that india was denied the cryogenic rocket technology but the scientists of the country developed indigenous technology to gain self reliance The center indeed has opened up the space sector for the private participants and the move has already brought a number of startups working with cutting edge technologies including nano satellites. Prime Minister had laid much emphasis on an innovation based society in his red fort speech on the occasion of India's 76th Independence Day this year with the call for Jai Anusandhan. There is a visible momentum as on 14th and 15th October All 23 Indian Institutes of Technology IITs come on one platform for the first time to showcase their innovation and research projects displaying more than 75 best projects spanning healthcare agriculture robotics semiconductors 5G communications and others Prime Minister Modi also shared with the All India Radio listeners that he would be at Mangarh on the border of Gujarat Rajasthan on November 1 where the British had committed a terrible massacre of tribals in November 1913 the tribal movement was led by the famous tribal leader Govind Guru 